Hey, hi. Uh, in this video, I will show you um, how you can set up your environment when you are working on um, infrastructure as a code, a CI CD via GitHub Actions. Okay. So when you are when you when you are uh, when you are doing your uh, infrastructure uh, CI CD, that is continuous integration and continuous deployment via uh, via uh, GitHub Actions. Okay. Then then you are working with multiple technologies. Okay. So namely, you would be working with some cloud provider, like for example Azure. Okay, where you are provisioning your infrastructure. And the, the second one is the, um, the the Terraform. Okay, the Terraform are are, are infrastructure as a um, code language. Okay, so uh, Terraform is an example of infrastructure as a code language. Okay, it's a declarative type code language. And uh, and to store your infrastructure as a code uh, um, uh, into the repo, you would be using um, um, GitHub repos. Okay, that's a, that's the reason I have added GitHub um, uh, technology. You will be working on. Okay, and the other one is uh, as I as I put in the heading. Okay, so that is um, GitHub Actions. Okay, so you are doing your continuous integration and continuous deployment uh, to your platform uh, via using the github actions okay github action is a is an in-house tool from github okay which provides these capabilities okay so then then you will be working on this technologies and then the third one is the visual studio code okay so visual studio code is an ide okay so that is um, uh, which which can be used for developing your infrastructure as a code okay henceforth you are working on these many technologies when you are working with the uh, github actions okay so um, so before you jump and work into that technologies you need to you need to make sure that your system is ready for it okay you have all the required configurations in place so that you can directly work on the github actions okay that's the reason this video is aimed to help you in that direction okay so with that let me jump you to the jump to the second uh, slide where i have list down all the required prerequisites okay um so here um, um let's say the first one okay so you are you are doing the infrastructure as a code on the cloud let's say okay where you are provisioning your infrastructure so then you must be having one um, one cloud provider that is it can be microsoft azure aws or Google Cloud or Oracle Cloud. Okay, there are multiple providers for it. Okay, so far in my example, as an example, I have shown you, I have I have taken the first point as a subscription. Okay, you should have Azure subscription. Um, then only you can provision your infrastructure there, right? So that's the reason I have added as a first first prerequisites. Okay, um, if if you are working in an organization, you should be having a subscription. If not. Uh, you can get it free uh, by following this link. Okay, if uh, if you want to have a free subscriptions, please follow this link and get a um, get a free subscriptions from Microsoft Azure. Okay, and with that, the the second prerequisite is a GitHub account. Okay, you should be having a GitHub account so that you can uh, store your infrastructure as a code uh, into the repo. Okay, that's the reason um, uh, this link is been given. Okay, please follow this link and create a, have a GitHub account. Uh, um, okay, so that you can store your infrastructure as a code. Okay. And the next one is Visual Studio Code. As I said, like VS Code is an IDE, okay, um, through which you uh, th that that tool is very um, uh, very friendly uh, for developers, okay, through which you can develop your infrastructure as a code. Okay, if you want to download and configure in your system, please follow this link. Download uh, VS Code and configure in your system. And the th and the fourth one is um, install the Git for Windows. Okay, so let's say as you are as you are hosting your repo in the github and and also um, having your ci cd in the through the github actions you should be having uh, git for windows installs okay so that only you can work in the vs code okay um, okay so vs code and the github works conjointly okay and in that case uh, github uh, git for windows installation is the mandatory okay that's the reason i have added um, this link through which you can download the git for windows and install in your system okay then only the vs code will identify all the required like creating the branch um, committing the code uh, creating the pull request etc etc okay all the cicd tasks okay and then the final one is uh, to 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 know more about all these like creating the branch um, uh, merging the code and, and publishing the code so there are n number of tasks okay that you do um, uh, during the devops tasks okay so henceforth i have added the, uh, the fifth link that is the devops in git uh, with vs code and github okay so if you follow this link you will come to know the what are the tasks being done via vs code uh, with respect to the um, uh, with respect to the devops tasks okay in in git specially okay so that's the reason i had at the fifth uh, link okay so all these links let me uh, quickly walk you through those okay 
so this is the um, github okay so this is uh, um, github okay so github.com okay so github.com uh, first page will look like this once you click on the sign up okay so it will take you to the sign up page okay so this is where uh, you will be creating uh, your github account by giving your um, um, giving your email id okay so especially gmail id the gmail id is extensively used okay so here you will be providing your username email address password and that's it you are you are directly jumping into the um, um, uh, github account okay and inside the github account you will be setting your project and inside the project you will be creating a repo okay where you will be storing your uh, infrastructure code okay that's about uh, github account and and then, then this is the um, this is the vs code um, uh, working uh, okay so let's say you have installed the vs code and you don't know what to do okay uh, when you are working with vs code uh, conjointly with github okay so this um, uh, this post from the microsoft okay it, it, it comes with very handy okay uh, please follow this link um, uh, in regards to um, uh, in regards to the tasks to be done okay um, with that uh, let me go to the next one so as i was telling like um, if you want to install the visual studio code in your system follow this link download according to your um, system version okay system os and get it installed okay it's um, get the vs studio code installation in windows as, as you can see in my screen so this is where i have installed and and, and made all my setups ready okay i'm currently working on github actions that's the reason i'm giving you um, these hints okay um so yeah so this is how you will set up your visual studio code and finally uh, as i said like github okay so if you want to work with the git from vs code Okay, there's a prerequisite okay there is a uh, git for windows um, software needs to be installed in your system okay then only you can jump and work into the um, git okay so especially for that one so so for especially for that purpose i have added this link as well okay so so this this makes completely required prerequisites okay um, with all these configuration um, now you are ready ready for your um, coding like this okay as you see here so i have completely done my all my setups and I have uh, created my repo in the GitHub, and I'm ready to work uh, work on the infrastructure as a code task. Okay, yeah, that's it. So this video was was aimed uh, in that direction to help you to set up all your environment, uh, get ready for the infrastructure as a code, um, and and where uh, you are using the GitHub actions for your CI/CD tasks. Okay. That's it. Okay. With that, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe my channel. Okay. That would really encourage me a lot. Thank you. Thanks a lot.